guess who's back? Back again. I am back. Tell a friend. Guess who's back? 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 So, it's been a bit of a while since we last recorded F1. In fact, when's the last time we we streamed? Oh, it was literally a week ago. About a week ago, but I did uh, upload four guys. Our margins are looking good right now. Just so you know, I did. Um, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for here? Um, I did, what did I do, what did I do? Ah, that's it, um, I have a new series starting very soon. Uh, it is a fighting game, I will tell you that. Will it be WWE, will it be something like UFC, will it be something different? Hmm, who knows? All you need to know is, uh, your boy, I'm going to be starting a new series. So, if you are watching this on the playback and you haven't skipped yet, hello, my name is Josh. Welcome to said stream. This is my, uh, Formula One series, uh, my team series. My team is called Roadman Racing. Uh, I have chosen the avatar of a woman and our goal is to be the first ever female f1 world champion obviously we're not going to be able to do it in the first season we're just kind of working out the kinks trying to get through this first season with this team and how how things go uh basically uh what happens is you take control oops the sounds playing here from my phone this is the only way I can check comments. Um, basically, the way it works is you take control of your own team, design it, customize it, customize the car, uh, choose which driver is going to be your second driver, and basically you go through the season as normal, but you take it. It's like manager mode, basically, but for F1. Uh, let's put it that way. <coughs> or player manager, I should say. You're driving your own car. Um, last episode. As you can see, I just want to... Uh, turn your attentions to the um, the season standings, uh, our season results so far. As you can tell, they've been pretty up and down. Um, we had some decent results. We had, uh, you know, 12th, 11th place. Then we started scoring some decent points. Uh, fifth uh, in Canada, sixth in uh, Zandvoort. Um, we were actually on pole position. Uh, in the French Grand Prix, but we weren't as quick um, in race pace. So unfortunately, it didn't uh, equate to any podiums uh, we ended up. And also a bad strategy as well. Also a bad strategy, which led to us finishing seventh. We finished ninth for Austria. And the last two races, um, we crashed in Silverstone, which is kind of me just kind of giving up. And we also, uh, gearbox failure. Uh, Hungary. Hungary was a lot more difficult than I expected. It was a lot more difficult than I expected. I didn't expect it. To, I didn't expect Hungary to be to be as hard hard as hard as it um as it was. All the F1 games I've played before, Hungary wasn't a bad track for me, so I thought I could pick up some serious points, and we weren't doing too bad to be fair. Uh, but gearbox failure, of course. Now. We are at one of the most demanding tracks on the F1 calendar in Spa. That gearbox is kaput. So we either have the choice of that one or that one. Uh, which I believe it's gave me the freshest gearbox. Okay. So we're just going to have to drive with this up until... Uh, hopefully we can finish Spa and Singapore with this gearbox. Um... One thing I've heard, uh, well, I've heard Tim McMardock say it, um, the way he kind of looks after his gearbox is trying to use higher gears. Um, 
I only use the gears which it tells me to use, you know. Um, so I'll I'll see if I can try. See, I'll see if I can implement that into my driving, uh, and see if that actually does anything to preserve my gearbox. Obviously, uh, we got these gearboxes, and obviously I'm not too bad. We will definitely be able to finish Spa. That's no that we have got no problems with that. Um, obviously, I'm gonna go back to my uh, practice engine. This is gonna be my practice engine, so we're not gonna be as quick in practice. Um, but what we will do, but what we will have is uh, that race pace. Uh, when it comes to qualifying, we'll have more of a reflection there. Uh, this is just so you know we use up our engine parts and that kind of thing. And then when it comes to uh, practice. So qualifying in the race, we'll just switch to you know different parts. Um, obviously, if you are new here, like, subscribe, and comment, please do so. Please sign the petitions in the bottom there, helping defunding ICE and also supporting Black Lives Matter. Uh, I do feel strongly about those kinds of things. So if you guys could help out, that would be awesome. Also, my social medias are in the description below. Override Gaming uh, for TikTok. Override underscore Gaming YT. Is it? Is it that? Is it that? I'm trying to think. Is it that? Yes, it is. O override underscore gaming YT uh, for Instagram. Gaming underscore override for Twitter. And override gaming official for Facebook. Without further ado, we've got our practice uh, components in place. I don't know how bad the tire wear is going to be, to be quite honest. This is more of a power track. So straight, straight line speed is important, as you can see from our R&D. Uh, when it comes to straight line speed, we're actually one of the fastest cars in the field. We are second quickest in a straight line, so we'll have no problems overtaking other cars. Uh, obviously, I worked hard to have a good chassis, um, which you know we'll we'll get we'll get to we'll get to. Um, but where we need to pick up is the over uh, the aerodynamics, which I believe I can do this one, but this won't happen until after the Singapore Grand Prix. Ah, uh, expect two to rush. I need I need faster development on, on my uh, aero. And obviously durability is a thing we need to take care of. I believe I did a durability upgrade last time. Uh, but again, we, we you know we digress. I might do a chassis I might do a chassis upgrade. I might do. I might do. I'll, I'll think about it. Oh wait, we can do this one though. And when would that come for? Right after after Italy. Hmm. Nah, we don't. Nah, because the the next two tracks are power tracks, and we've we've got the we've got the we've got the power. I got the power. We've got the power, so that's not too bad. What I'll probably do is save it for a chassis upgrade. Uh, something like that. Also, let's see. Your pace stat will slightly improve. In fact, you know what? I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that. And we'll have that for after... After Spa. So, Nick DeVries' pace will increase. Which is always very important. Now, uh, we are now a midfield car. We will... It kind of goes up and down. You've got to understand this because sometimes we'll be in the midfield in terms of upgrades and uh, and progression with our with our car, but also we're like especially in Hungary. Hungary, we want the slowest cars in the field because everyone had just upgraded like pew and uh, left us in the dust. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, but you know we've had a few upgrades, so you know we should we should be keeping up. Uh, with the midfield, we should be. We're, we're aiming to be best of the midfield. Uh, in fact, let me just quickly check the constructors, just so you guys can see for yourself. Uh, we are ninth, so we're already doing our goal of beating Williams, but we're neck and neck with Alpha. Alpha are our main rivals at the moment. If we can finish uh, ahead of Alpha, possibly Alpha Tauri. Uh, that will be pretty decent. Obviously, we need Nick DeVries' pace to increase, uh, which is going to be a bit difficult. We did have my, we did have Mick Schumacher 
Um, I was about to say Mike Schumacher. We did have Mick Schumacher, but we got rid of him mid-season. He did get one point. One point for us. Uh, but he just had a run of bad results. But without further ado, I'm going to stop waffling. Tire allocation. We'll leave it balanced uh, just in case, you know, we see how tire work goes. And we will go to practice. Belgian Grand Prix. Mad race this. A mad race. This race, uh, I remember the first Belgian Grand Prix I ever watched was the one where they had... Um, what did they do now? What did they do? I'm pretty sure it was... Uh, no, it was Lewis Hamilton. It was Lewis Hamilton. And he had that scandal thing with Kimi Raikkonen. Um for the world championship was it 2007 or 2008 i can't remember which one but it was one of the two <coughs> and obviously there was a huge scandal thing so lewis had some points deducted i think after the race uh but then i seen previous belgian race oh god 2012 i remember that 2012 roman grosjean roman grosjean's crash jesus christ i was i watched that live and i could not believe what i saw a uh, wet qualifying, which is I don't think have I had a wet race yet. I don't think I have. I don't think I've had a wet race. I don't think I've had a wet a wet a wet race. A wet race. I don't think I've had a wet race yet. But without further ado, let's get into practice. Get into some practice. I'm gonna try and use some high gears. I'm gonna try to. So maybe third for some corners, maybe fourth when I should be using third, you know, just to kind of look after the gearbox a little bit because we need to, we, we can't be having penalties, you know, um, how many of our gearboxes have just been blowing up? <laughs> is, I wonder, is it, because I watched Team at Modic's first season of uh, F1, F1 2020, and I'm still watching on second season now. I did I I'll, I'll just fin I think I just finished him watching Russia, um, but with the first season, I noticed with the hot with, when he had the Honda engine, he wasn't too bad with du gearbox durability. But then when he went to the Ferrari engine, I've had a chat with Carl about the new parts, and we're happy that they've been integrated into the car. Okay, with any luck, you'll be able to feel the improvement. So then there try. was. Uh, a few a few a few problems so i'm wondering whether it's the uh the faster engines you need more durability upgrades in order to try and keep the gearbox or what i don't know answers on a postcard or i might just clip this and and and, and send it to ben and and see what he has to say but uh yeah do you, uh, legit i i can't for the life of me um crack this gearbox problem. I've even tried to look on YouTube um, and haven't okay, seen anything. To get through as many corner gates as quickly and precisely as possible. Best of luck out there. Standard setup is always on the track acclimatization. And then we'll start playing about with the setup. So here we go. Bus we'll stop chicane. Jesus Christ, it's been a while. It has been a while since I've, uh... How have I missed? Oh, God. It's been a while. <laughs> Put it that way. Flower Pro Rouge, come on now. Yeah! And bang! 187 miles an hour, almost 200 coming up to. Forgot what this corner's called. <laughs> and then we go for the sweeping section here. Uh oh. Missed it. Now we're coming up to Puhon. Yo! Whoa! 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 Hey! 
Yo! I took the corner, the corner bounced back. That corner said, not on my watch. Taking the curb, I don't think so. And also, it's kind of uh, a little bit weird because I've played this track quite a bit on Gran Turismo, so it's uh, a little weird trying to, you know, get to grips with the gearing and stuff. Because obviously, uh, the cars are a lot slower in uh, Gran Turismo. So, oh god, that's real bumpy. Good work. You seem to have a solid handle on the. All right. Let's try and perfect each turn. Remember that chaining good corners. That's going to be a big overtaking point. Bonus. Here we go, up, Irish, nice and flat, bang, bit of overtake. Nice. Cough was pretty good. Feels really good. Avoid the curbs. That, that curb will spit you out. I have experience on this track, so it's not too bad. Go through Blonchamon now. It's a bus stop. Woo! The car's really good in the brakes. That's fantastic. You obviously have a really good understanding of this circuit. Here we go, once again. Gas is faster than me. Oh, he's on mediums. I felt really good there. I understand. I don't even need to change down. Uh oh. Didn't mean to take the grass. I missed it, missed the bus stop. God damn it. <laughs> That's not too bad though. I felt pretty good. I mean, I don't know about you, but like, I feel, I feel pretty good. Right, setup. 
Let's see how we can ruin this. <laughs> Did that do too good on my gearbox? Let's see. I'm on 57% with this gearbox. Compared to A3. So I think the higher gears kind of does work. I know it's tempting to focus entirely on the race, but then it's but about we being quick as well. To run the qualifying sim program. Try to run it before the end of FP3 if you can. And not only that, we did a high 49 as a, on, on hard tires. And that's what, only a few tenths down from, say, four, five, no, four, or so just far, under four tenths lap is a from uh, De Vries. So that's, that's not too bad. Not too bad. But let's go in the setup though, because we can definitely shave some time. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> so right now we're running a standard setup. Five, six rings. Let's try that. Uh, four. Maybe three, six. Three, six rings. Let's try that. Also, let's try diff on 50. We're seventh in the speed trap. 187.0 miles per hour. I don't know what the diff does, so that's why I kind of leave it. That's why I kind of leave it. I'm going to go, I'm going to go 65, 60. We'll try that. Uh, let's see. Handle the bumps. Front. Uh, nah, we, we, need, we need a bit more straight line, so we'll do that. Uh, Anti-roll bar. Let's see. Uh, okay, here's something amount to of body roll into corners. Rivage. I want to make sure you're comfortable with this one as it drops away from you as you turn in. It's very easy to snatch a break here or just carry too much speed and run wide. Show this course. Yeah, shut respect. up, man. Shut your mouth, huh? Uh, right. Let's see. Uh, while turning into corners, but low generally may cause the tires to. Uh, it, it, oh, okay. Soft acting roll bars can provide good traction. You need good tractions. I feel like soft. I feel like going soft might actually work here because, yeah, you know, re, you know, um, it's it. You need that res responsiveness in some of the cars, but uh, tr these these car these kind of uh, especially just out of cor corners like bus stop and uh, specific information the source. Make certain changes to the car during a pit stop. You can tell me what you want over the radio. Press and hold the radio button to activate the system. And you can either speak the command or select it manually from the radio this screen. This guy don't shut up. This guy display. don't shut up when I'm trying to talk. While the radio is active, uh, cycle through command groups with the MFD button. Soft bumps more effectively. Yeah. Maybe maybe I can do the anti roll bars as a softer one, but have these and hard. Let's see. We'll see how that we'll see how that works. We'll see how that works. Uh brakes is normal. I am I'm cool with the brakes. The brakes are cool. Uh oh, tire pressures. You know what I'll do is I'll I'll go through say tire man I'll go through a couple of the practice programs and see how how good we are on tire uh, temperature. Okay, just want to remind I you really understand that, that and I did mechanics at school. We have to give so two sets back at the end of this session, so they'll be unavailable for the um, rest of the weekend. We'll hand over the two most worn sets, so don't ruin time. We'll go with that. We'll go with that later. for now. We'll go with that for now. Let's see how bad this car is then. <laughs> I mean. All right, let's see. I'll do. I'll do ERS management, and we'll. What we'll do is we'll see how how uh. How bad. <laughs> how bad a job we've done. This is the ERS management test. Hit the target time whilst managing your battery charge. The more efficiently you use energy throughout the lab, the higher you will score. Use your overtake button for maximum power, but remember that will drain energy rapidly. Woo! Yo, I can't stop now. I can't. I can't stop the car. Or maybe I just need to actually break up my points. Yeah, that might help. <laughs> Come on. 
car feels a bit weird though. I won't lie. Maybe I need the suspension a little softer and we'll see how we go. Doesn't like that. I don't know how corner cutting rules are on strict. Okay, I somehow feel worse. The car doesn't feel as uh, smooth as it probably should. Test complete, and that was a very good job indeed. Only a tenth off, off uh, my my fastest time so far. So yeah, we've we've taken a step back. That's for sure. We have taken a step back, right? So let's go to what's that up again. Uh, I think we may need more uh, softer suspension. I think if we set that to five and three. I think that's where we might have been going wrong. Three six wings isn't too bad. We're not. We're 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 okay in a straight line. Uh, tires. So far is a one minute forty nine point eight. We're pretty good. So maybe we can take the temperature up. Maybe a little. We'll take the temperature up a little bit and see how we go. Uh, I'll do the race pace program and see how we are. Yeah, I'll be off from that. Give us some consistent laps, please. We're looking for good data that we can work into the race strategy. Say, the car didn't feel as smooth as it as it probably could have been. I felt like I had, you know, to put a lot more effort into driving it. Well, I feel I feel better with this. Went a bit deep. I'm not changing up. Way too much understeer. Probably going to be slow. I'm three tenths up. Oh wow, I was way too wide. Oh no.
big lab. You know what we asked for. Keep it up. Way too wide on the source there. No, 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 no. I saw, I saw what you was trying to do. I saw what you was trying to do. You thought you could just pitch me out the other side, huh? Super job so far, we're getting great data. Stay focused. Fourth place, better. Do that, but you know, I mean, I still passed the program, but you know. Yeah. Great lab. You know what we asked for. Keep it up.
Don't need that many gear shifts. Come on, I went sloppy on this lap. Yeah. Oh, dead sloppy. Dead sloppy. But it's okay, we're ahead. Well, fifth place. We're back on form. So far, we're getting great data. Stay focused. I'm just making sure I stay over uh, the practice program. Because I, wow, I am sloppy in this lap. Put this lap in the bin. Job well done. Did a pretty good job. Woo! Our best lap so far is a one forty eight point one. Fifth place, so we beat Albon. We beat both Red Bulls. Verstappen's been on hard tide, so he, that's not a fair reflection. Same with Ricardo. De Vries is 12th, though. He put in a pretty good lap, so. Hey! Hey! That was thunder. <laughs> the car settings screen on your multifunction display will allow you to change various settings as you drive. Open the display with the MFD button. You can then navigate up and down to the setting you this want to change. This place is pretty good. And then when we put our uh, new engine parts back in, we'll be killing it. Let's get to the end of practice here and uh, go to practice two. With all the cars now over the line, let's see our top three again. Say so successful Hamilton, practice, Bethel, one for uh, and me and Nick DeVries for our roadman racing.
Let's get on with it. Let's get it on. <laughs> Legit, I went outside, it was sunny. And now, and then the heavens opened. And then we're back to square one again. We're so, we're, I don't know what's up with British weather. But hey, if we beat the Red Bulls, you know, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to shut up for the simple reason of I don't want to get ahead of myself. What I'll probably end up doing is after, uh, depending on how many resource points we get, I'm either going to do a nice little upgrade. Um, well, how, well, how far would that bring us? That'll be all after Italy. Italy. Oh, you know what? Take a chance on me. I'm going to do it. Again, our error isn't that good, so we need all the help we can get. So that will be after Italy, right? And in time for Singapore, which is a downfall strike anyway, so we could do with that. But then, let's see, can we use 575? Okay. I don't mind that. And then we, at least then we've got somewhere after uh, Singapore uh, to get we got something to go into Singapore with. It's going to be a wet qualifying anyway, so. We're going to see how uh, good our one lap pace is. Just as a... Uh, well, we're in fifth place, so we're way ahead of where we should be anyway. Um, I was going to say, do we need to change the setup? No, we don't. Uh, what I can do with this though is save spa let me try three five wings we'll, we'll see we'll see we'll, we'll see what we'll go on with that uh, let's see also I feel like I'm supposed to check something. <coughs> Excuse me. I know it's tempting to focus entirely on the race, but we should put a bit of time aside I to know, run the qualifying mouth, sim man. program. Try to run it before the end of FP3 if you can. Well, obviously we're gonna not do too good on pace, anyways, because uh, we're gonna try and drill. This test is all about tyre management. Try to control the slip through each corner and take extra care putting the power down at the apex. Yo. Okay, let me just... Let me... Oh. Let me just, uh... Did I break way too late or or what? Hundred meter board. Probably called brakes. Probably because called brakes. Stupid tires. Didn't catch that. Say again. I don't know why it does that. Can 
considering I took vibration off my controller. Oh wow, my tires are cold. My brakes are super cold. There we go, brakes and tires are more switched on now. Okay, test complete, and that was a very good job indeed. I don't mean to do that, but back to the garage. I know my pace is going to be slow. But wait till I get my qualifying pace. Ha <laughs> ha. Then we shall see. In this program, we want you to focus on fuel saving technique. Lift and coast through corner entry to save as much as you can while keeping under the minimum lap time. Jesus Christ. Making sure my brakes and tires are warm. Again, I'm not doing this to be fast, I'm doing this to save fuel, so that's the point of a drill like this. That's an acceptable lap, but you're capable of more if you work at it. I 
time stream it. Hold on. Complete and a job well done. There we go. Our best lap so far is a one minute fifty point three. Last practice program. Gonna wait. It's a bit longer in the session though with a uh, track evolution, if that's even a word. And then we're gonna see how really quick this is. Holy pace. Let's get it. Okay, this is a quali sim. We've estimated the times our closest rivals will be doing, so that's what we need to beat. Still quicker than Russell. as well so signs you better not oh my god signs do you see this brother here like yo are you all right
No, 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 no. Let's try that again, shall we? Second place. Second place. I'll leave it at that. Three five wings it is. <laughs> Makes us more competitive in a straight line. Uh, right. Power units. Which ones we using? No! To view information on your current levels of tire wear and damage, press the MFD button to open the multifunction display, and then again to cycle to the tires and damage screen. So far, our fastest lap is a 146.9. You know what? Nah, fresh components, man. I think we've actually got a chance of uh, doing decent in this race. Compared to other people. Hello for joining the stream. Hello, how you doing? Right, we'll do that. I'm hoping we didn't just cook ourselves and give ourselves a five price grid penalty by accident. I'm hoping. Because that's really going to screw up my chances. The session has drawn to a close, so let's review our okay. top three. Okay, nine tenths Hamilton away from Hamilton. However, an incredible practice session. However, here, though. Join us again as the rest of we the put in a very good last. De Vries, okay, De Vries did a 50.1, but he was on hard tyres, so I'll forgive him. He was probably doing a uh, track acclimatisation, so I'll forgive him for that. Wet quality, so we can put up the downforce. We have, we have a good chance of doing well. Again, this is a power track, so this should suit our car theoretically pretty well. And we should be on course for some decent points. Our qualifying pace is really good, so uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, with a new engine, uh, fresh engine components in place, we should be able to do a lot better. Of course, if you are new to the stream, thank you for joining. Thanks to you for stopping by. If you are new, I would love for you to slap a like on this and leave a comment. Uh, tell me what you've enjoyed, maybe what I need to improve. Uh, I am trying to reach a thousand subscribers. I've already reached a thousand followers on TikTok, by the way. So I would love it if you guys could do the same and follow my YouTube. I'd love to. Uh, but here we go. We are going to get into qualifying, ladies and gentlemen. Quali, quali, quali. Let's see in terms of practice programs. Let's see. We got some decent points. All right. Devries, I see you. Not even a switch. Okay.
qualifying so if you have joined the stream or if you're watching this back welcome to qualifying at the belgian grand prix this is a track which suits our car quite well um and in doing so we put in a very good practice session practice two we finished second fastest but uh, as you can see it is raining for qualifying so we shall have a difficult time i know it is park ferme conditions but we can change our wing angle which is what we'll do um and also up the uh fuel load so we have more laps to do now uh where did i put it on i'll put it on three five okay so let's put it on now let's not take too much away. To view your current tire brake and engine temperatures, press the MFD button to open the multifunction display. We do five seven wings. And then press it again to cycle through till you reach the temperature information. Five screen. seven wings. And I think we can change our tire temperatures, I believe. But we're gonna go out to track. We are going to set a flying lap. Qualifying time here. We can put in a good result. This could be the uh best result we've had since uh since Austria or even better still ta Canada because Canada we finished fifth so we put in a good shift there but uh, we've got to be very careful in the wet here very very careful I'm surprised they uh, didn't say four wets It looks pretty uh pretty wet out here. You want that extra downforce when it comes to the wet weather. Can we go? Nope. I had to lift. I had to lift. Wasn't too certain there. Uh, I could probably go flat for a rouge. If uh, I'm I'm a bit brave. Been very careful. Very careful. Very careful. Hence the extra downfalls plugged on. Maybe take it down to six. Oh. Car tried to get away from me there. God damn it. Okay, now it's just a straight uh, dash to the bus stop. Can save this. Yeah. I was doing that fourth. That was fourth place. I reckon it can be quicker than that. Two tenths down already. Oh, Rouge said flat out, yeah? Having a laugh? No, nah, let me try flat out. Come on. No. Nope. You can just about do it. You can just about do it. Me being the madman that I am. Okay, we can definitely gain some time here. We have 
two laps of fuel remaining. I can do a lot better than that. Nope, no, 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 no. That's to the line, four tenths. That's where we're getting a lot of time, sixth place. I'm happy with that. Okay, some quick lap times are now being posted. It's getting faster out there. I'm eighth. I'm, it might be wise to go back out again. This lap is a one minute fifty seven point four. Uh, let's take out some fuel. It might be wise to go back out again, you know. Uh, let's lighten the load a little bit. Let's line that. because I feel like uh, they're all going to come back at me and uh, I'm going to be near the drop zone so No, 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 no. Can I do it? Can I? All balls, right? All or nothing. Or should I just play it safe and just lift a little? No, 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 no. Yo, Orish wants me to fall, man. Yo, I really don't want me to win. I can go flat out. I can do it. No. Nope. Yo, 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 yo. Wait. 
truck doing me dirty right now. Right, look at that. See? Better? Happy now? Oh my god. That would have, uh... Khaled as a track extension if he's on strict rules. Yo, yo, why am I going off? Okay, now I've just now I just ruined my lap, right? Okay, let's maximize this now. Coming towards the empire of the lap. Because I can feel the slip. Sixth place. I'm happy. I'll take that. I don't think anyone's going to do better than that. Jesus peace. What we got? Uh, maximum resource points. Okay, cool. Sixth place. De Vries gone into Q2. <laughs> Go on, lad. Now, now, now we are reaching our full potential. De Vries getting in there as well. Go on, there, lad. Go on there, lads. See, that's what I like. My teammate picking up the weight as well. Hey. Eh? Alright, I'm going to go out on my scrub set of inters. Uh, simply for the fact that... I take a set of intermediates in these unpredictable conditions. I know that's three tenths, but I want to set a bank of time. Uh, at first, just so, um, just so basically, I don't have to, uh, waste a set of inters, you know what I'm saying? Uh, wait, what am I doing? Caveats out, what am I trying to do here? Ah, fuel load. Four laps. ETA on this rain clearing up is about 10 minutes, so just keep right. your concentration out there. See? That's that's why. I don't want to be burning a set of inners already. Smart strategy.
let me just pop that over there so you guys can uh, see me a little better. All right, keep it. No. Yo. Yo, this this game don't want me to win. Gotta be smooth. Coming out the bus stop. Easy on the power. Can do better. That's why we use uh, higher gears for more stability out of the corners as well. And you know what? Using higher gears, I've actually, for God's sake, using higher gears has actually worked because my gearbox is still on 67%. So. Thanks to TM at for that one. Slight lift, but again, necessary. I wonder if I can take my downfalls down a clip now that we're uh Making sure there's no overstair, understair I mean. Bottas is fast. the lift slightly there. Bit wide. I need to watch myself coming out of bus stop because that's where I'm losing time. Where's that put me? Fourth. Okay. Fourth place so far. So far. Not a bad bank lap, but again, we can do better. So far, our fastest Six. lap is a 156.9. See what the freeze is. The freeze is. That's not gonna. Okay, we need to go back out, and I'm going to one take my wings down a click. One brand new set of inters. Two. This is where now I uh take my wings. Intermediate tires are your best bet in the current conditions. Oh wait, my rear wings are the same. Oh no. Didn't know that. That sucks. 
to view current strategy and race objectives, press the MFD button to open the multifunction display, and then press it again to cycle through till you reach the strategy and objective screen. Here we go. Quick, 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 quick. Literally got one chance to do this, so. How long we got? Two minutes. We are ninth at the moment. I know why I do that, because I put power on while I'm turning. What I really should be doing is getting the wheel straight and get on the power. Very deep into Ravage there. Yo, I, I'm I'm having a torrid lap. Here we go. This lap is all or nothing, seven tenths. Let's go. How oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Ninth place, fourth place. Holy crap! I generally thought I I I generally thought that I was close. I had noticed that's a glitch. Woo. Okay, I know Nick's gonna be out. Okay, again some way off. Uh, Kvyat. I'm only two tenths off the leaders though. Two tenths off of Vettel. I will take that. I shall take that with open arms. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna let these boys go out and then we'll see. We shall see from that point. 
uh, how fast the track is and if these guys are going out and inters guys still on inters let's check the race director these guys are still on in inters and the times being set right now are okay they're just setting their times now because I don't know whether it's worth it to uh Lap times are dropping. Looks like track conditions are starting to improve. Don't want to leave it too late, you know. Inters, 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 inters. Let's see what he says. Okay, yeah, the track's still kind of dry. Did we throw a set of inters? Or... Nah, we might as well just go at it. We're now down to our last set of fresh intermediates. Might as well just go at it. Alpha level, right? Out for leather. I mean, it's not like the race is going to be wet, so. Might as well just throw ourselves at it. Here we go. I don't know who that is ahead of me, but uh, okay, we've got a racing point behind, so he's gonna get the toe. Coming out of here, I think we could have. I think we could have done drives, you know. I think we could have done drives, but. Again, better safe than sorry, am I right? I think like the second sector is where they catch up. go. Don't know what this corner is called again. Ah, grass a bit. Doing pretty well. Went too deep into the bus stop there. God damn it. Ah. Tenth, yeah. I went way too deep into the bus stop, so. That's what that's fine. That's it's fine, but finished. It's time to remind oh, six. ourselves of our top Oi. Hamilton, Fettel, and Charles Leclerc. With qualifying that glitch, up, man. We now have our grid line up for the big race tomorrow. Be sure to join us then. Best of the no midfield, so I'm happy. Fantastic race. But now we've uh, we kind of cooked ourselves a little bit because. Amazing performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. The weather hasn't been ideal in qualifying. What's your take on it? Uh, gotta be able to perform. 
It's got to be a relief to qualify that far up the grid. Power, it's a power track, so. How do you feel the competition is for you this season? Uh. Appreciate your time. So we uh, we outdid science though, so that's what I like to see. The freeze went up to seventh. Our team McLaren's gonna go up, right? Yeah, buddy. T team t team ten. <laughs> Level ten. Very good qualifier session indeed. We get to complete one of the sponsors, which is to qualify in P10 or better. A car is good enough for that, so. We can call that a successful qualifying. We should be in with a good chance in the race. Back in shape. 1,390 points, which means we can do quite a bit of stuff here. Uh, chassis upgrade is nice, but I think the best thing to do is kill two birds with one stone here. Let's get, um, let's see, that's after Singapore, that's after Singapore. Didn't I do build time for that, so. And then if we was to do, again, after Singapore. After Singapore. After Italy. Wouldn't hurt to do a shot. I think the durability one is the more viable one, being as though we've got that's been done at the moment, and that will be done for then. I said this is what we do. We do this one, uh, and then we do the minor chassis upgrade. So we've got some uh, upgrades on the way. More durability and more stuff. Um, didn't I... Or not unless because I spent it on the pace upgrade. That's probably why. I might have spent it on durability last time and, and not remembered. But it's okay. We've got Nick in a in a, in a alright pace. Uh, we're doing pretty well. Arrow's going on the car. Uh, chassis is gonna. We're doing. We're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. We 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 will be uh, little steps. They go a long way sometimes. So, out further ado. What did I come here for anyway? That's what I came here for. The gearbox, right? Let's see. We have our. We have our. Sixty-eight. Okay, we're doing well. We have our good components. Six percent where all right we're doing we're doing decent race time
Welcome to the race. If you just joined the stream and you just want to watch the race, we're in Belgium once again for today's round of the Formula One World Championship. It's a race the great Ayrton Senna won six times, and in 2019, Charles Leclerc became the first driver to take their maiden win here since Michael Schumacher in 1992. So here we are once again, ready to go racing through the Ardane Forest. 4.35 miles of long straights, fast corners, and massive elevation changes. And it makes this not only one of the most exciting circuits on the calendar, but one that makes for some consistently high quality racing as well. Simply put it, there really is no place quite like Spa. Joining me for today's race once again is Anthony Davidson. Why don't we discuss McLaren? What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. An immense lap look. from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Bottas, Max Verstappen, Ava, Ricardo, Norris, Perez, and Esteban Ocon, Sainz, Albon, Lance Stroll, and Kvyat, De Vries, Magnussen, Pierre Gasly, and Roman Grosjean. Someone's got a group pedal, A. Latifi, and Kimi Raikkonen finishes off the grid. Now, Raikkonen got a group pedal, A. So let's go down to the track. That's even better. Now, we've, 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 we've cooked ourselves a little bit here because I didn't realise, I thought you could change the rear wing angle as well. But it's only the front. So we've, Stuck more downforce on the f on the rear of the car, and we've sacrificed ourselves a little bit, which means the uh, wings we're gonna we're gonna tone the wings down anyway. Uh, okay, here we go. I soft know what you to can mediums. Do. Don't That's let me cool. down. Um, but if we go, it was three. It was three five wings. And we just took it up to four. So, again, rear downforce will be pretty good, but I'm just turning my light on here. Ah, again, kind of done ourselves in a little bit. Um, we had a pretty good qualified session for those of you who are in the race. Uh, we finished sixth out of. 22 um race strategy as it goes is softs to mediums uh pretty good strategy no problem with that lap eight we're stopping and then uh we go to the medium tires to finish off the rest of the race can easily get to the end i was thinking about um stopping on the mediums uh, and then finishing off with the sauce. The problem which I've, I've faced, which, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not going to make the same mistake again, which was uh, what did my racing in France and it did it with, it did it with Austria as well, is I started on the high of the tyre, went to went through the race and i just kept them falling behind and falling behind and falling behind until the good position that i was in i had to fight to stay in the position or or you know for the last few points so this way i'm gonna try and keep up gonna try and keep up and uh we'll see how this goes Will spin. Right, let's get the car up to temperature on this lap. We're learning the gears, so go through them all if you can.
No threat of rain for the time being. Conditions looking good. Well, that's good. Red eyes would be a uh, kind of screwed. All right, we've got a good chance of getting a good result here. Without further ado, wish me luck, subscribe if you're new, let's do this. Keep an eye on the lights, the start sequence will begin as soon as the grid has formed, be ready with the clutch. Nice start, nice start, nice start. Oh yeah, I got a Oh yeah, I got a six start. I got a six start! I'm in third place! What a start! Yo! Verstappen, what are you doing? Bro, I had the maddest start. I ain't risking crashing into Vettel already. I wasn't even trying to look for it, but... That's what we like to see at the stars. Well done. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that as much as you. Obviously, I'm a bit crap through the corners because, uh... Here we go. Hi, Sebastian. Hi, Sebastian. Woo! Park it. Second place, boy! Read it and weep! And the best bit is I can pull away now. I will come under attack by, you know, DRS. Here comes Vettel now. Oh god, oh god, oh god. What a flipping start though.
If I told you that I'll, uh, I'd start the race like this, I'd have called you a madman. Okay, I can save fuel through the middle of part of this lap. I don't think I'm going to catch up to Hamilton, but I'll, I'll do my job to stay in second. Oh, is there an incident? 1.1 seconds. I'll probably use an overtake. Go, 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 go! DRS will be enabled this lap. You can use it when within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Grosjean is out. I'm pulling away from Vettel. I did not expect to be here. <laughs> I can tell you that from now. How is Vettel falling behind me? What have I done to this car? I'm gonna just save a bit of battery. Go. I'm three seconds ahead of Vettel. What the hell? I know I'm not going to catch Hamilton, so I'm going to just stay in my lane. Hold seconds. patient I'm four second yo Vettel dropped the ball like massively dropped the ball for Stappen's past him now again I'm in clear air right now so Move. 
and also this means it can save fuel a lot better. Four seconds ahead, so I am just I'm just gonna stay in my lane here. Maintain the gap to Hamilton because my car's quick in a straight line, so this is a track for us and If we're so good here, then this bodes well for Monza as well. Because Monza is a power track. And not only that, but we're, we're keeping tabs with Hamilton. Hamilton isn't getting away from us uh, as much as I'd thought. I'm cool, I'm gonna just chill and save some fuel. And save some battery as well. I come in way too deep at bus stop, so. We're approaching the pit window, you'll be on the mediums. You've lost some time to the car behind. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I know what I'm doing. You know what I'm doing. Look at that, I'm making it back now. Tires aren't even wearing that much. Our uh, pit stop is lap eight, I believe. Well, we're doing pretty well. All systems seem to be working pretty good, so. Way too deep in bus stop. No issues with tire wear for now. Keep taking care of them. How's our gearbox holding up? 70%. Not too bad. I'm learning to get better with multitasking as well. Again, I'm keeping Lewis honest. Oh, wasn't really watching, but let's see if if Lewis comes in, then I'll come in. Because then I'm covering off the staff and the staff has closed the gap a little bit.
Yo, okay, I keep, I keep diving. I keep diving the corner when there's no need to. Okay, he's not pitting. Three point six now. We're boxing this lap. Yeah, okay, I'm starting to lose quite a lot of time. Slowly starting to eke out the gap. I don't like that. Getting a bit messy now. I shouldn't be sweating as much. Is Hamilton in? That is the most important question. 2.5 seconds. Jesus. Okay. We're pitting this lap. Defo. Yeah, okay. Hamilton's in. No! 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 <laughs> Hamilton's in. Verstappen's in. Leclerc's out. Bottas is out. That's fine, we're not racing Hamilton, really. These are all the guys on mediums. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. We've got the freeze. I'm gonna back out of that man. And there is the wingman. Oh no! Nick! Nick, no! We're looking at some gearbox wear, trying to keep your number. God's sake. But I gotta get past these guys as quick as possible. You're holding me up here, Nick. I need to get. I need to up on that. I can. I can. I can catch him back. I need you to make this as quick and simple for me, Nick. Please, just let me through, let me through. Nick! Just 
make it, make, make it quick and simple for me, please. I'll go outside. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna... No, no, could I, can I please, like, do this without malfunctioning, please? Wait, stroll? What do you mean, stroll? Yo, homie, we gotta, gotta do something about you. Also, keep Verstappen at bay here, cause. Otherwise, that might be a problem. Oh my god, yo, 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 chill, 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 chill. Stroll's put in. And so is the flag. Good. Oh, you thought you was getting close. You was getting close, Max. Nah, son. You was getting close through this lap. I said, nah, son. I'm holding second. Okay, there's no doubt about it. Max, Max is quicker through me. Uh, he's quicker than me through here. Nothing I can do about that. We're just gonna outlast him and uh, hope this gearbox. Doesn't fail us as well. That was the fastest lap of the fastest race. Lap. Keep this up. Gap to teammate behind is 21.5 seconds. Fastest lap two. Two 
3.1 seconds. Oh god, that was horrible. <gasps> How did I not get a corner cutting penalty for that? Even on restrict, man, you gotta be like, come on. I mean, even on uh, restrict, restricted. You gotta be like, come on, man. You're, you're taking the chunk out of the circuit here, lad. We're looking at some gearbox wear. Try to keep your number of shifts to a minimum. Bit sloppy this lap. I completely missed the turn. I just need to maximize my times on the straights. Just look at that, 2.5 seconds. Quite wide, but don't want to be doing that. That was a bad exit. Bad bus stop. I feel like I'm struggling in that corner a little. 1.3 seconds. And then I'm going to open it up again because uh, Max don't have that straight line speed. That's something you don't have. Oh, they're, f they're scrapping though. Yes. I need you guys to fight. I need you guys to fight. So I can get away here. I'm in clear air, so... There's nothing really to stop me. I'm getting second unless I screw up. And even then I got a flashback, so <laughs> But realis realistically speaking. This second place now should be mine.
Let's go! That was a good buster. Oh wait, Bottas has fastest lap now. Didn't even know. That's it, fight each other. Please. Because otherwise Bottas is going to get to me here. So Verstappen, I need you to keep Bottas at bay here. Uh oh. Because Bottas is going to come for me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep the second if uh, Bottas is on my ass. Especially when I'm doing stuff like that. Come on. We can hold it. Third will be good. But we've got second here. Less than 10 laps to go. I don't think it can contain Bottas. That's going to be a, a tall order. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it down. Maximize, maximize, two seconds. Two point one seconds, that's exactly what we needed. As a response to bot us, to bot us. Second sector, they uh, gain quite a lot of me. Come on. Seven point zero seconds. I don't care about my teammate. Driver behind. Bottas behind. The gap to the car behind is 2.0 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tyres are six laps old. The time last lap was a 1 minute 48.1. One. I made a bad mistake, but I still kind of held it together. I was concentrating too much on Bottas there. And now he's in the game. You're pushing too hard. It's causing your gearbox to take increased wear. I'm 
I don't think so. We have five laps of fuel remaining. Not on my watch. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Notice how... He's gonna have DRS. Okay, now my shift is playing a little. I can get away from him, kind of. But, uh, I'm gonna have no answer for him on the straights with DRS. Here he comes. Inside. He's gone. Come on, you can win that place back. He's gone. Do we let him go or? I think I let him go. Unless I can hang on. Okay, I am not hanging on here. Don't think I can hang on. Let's go standard now. Mercedes was just too quick. Verstappen did well to keep Bottas behind for a little while. But uh, yeah, <laughs> he's gone. Fastest lap, look. There's four laps of fuel remaining. Even if I wanted to, I can't really keep up with them, so... But I'll tell you what, fourth place, third place... I'll deal with. I can hold off of her, definitely. And wide, no, 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 no. Don't lose it now, please. You only got a few laps, Josh. Don't lose it now. No need to worry about tire condition for now. Everything's looking good. Defend from the Ferrari. Okay, you're catching the car ahead, but remember we need to get to the end of the race on these tires. Two laps left. For a podium. Woo! 
Almost missed my breaking point there. a few left. Come on. Concentrate. Concentrate. That corner requires a lot of patience. That reverse corner. And even uh seeing what Nick's done. And I can't even check. Hamilton's on his last lap, fastest lap. Meanwhile, we're on our last lap. What a race. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Showed uh, how good, what a good start can do for you. Completely caught the field and myself off guard. Managed to hold second for a very long time. And then... Bottas came past, but the work is not done yet. We still got to hold off a raging Ferrari Less than a lap of fuel now. in the shape of Charles Leclerc. He was very quick in his own right and he's been closing me down ever since. I've been a bit sloppy. I'll admit. But I won't let him have me on this last lap. No way. All battery, all fuel. I've got enough to the end now. It will just hold him off unless he, uh, he goes for an insane dive bomb. Which I don't think he will. Park it on the apex and boom. What a race. Third place, first podium. Woo! Oh. 
What a race! I am well chuffed with that. I'm sweating. Hamilton deserved the win. But we just did a madness. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. Donna Madness. So Absolute madness. Race, we can now see the drivers making their Who's on the podium? podium? Again, Third place. I'm, I'm, I'm well chuffed. A well earned victory for Mercedes. It's been coming. It's been coming. This season has had a few shot podiums. Uh, you know, McLaren's, Renault's. You know, is the race for kind of, I guess, like third places really heat up. That's what I love about the midfield races is that, you know, fair enough. It's, you know, the Mercedeses and the Ferraris and the Red Bulls up front. But then it's us, McLaren, um, Racing Point, Renault, Alpha. We're all kind of bunched in this one group. We just did the maddest. Look at the start we had, though. The Let's start is what did it. It's a great result for Lewis wow. Hamilton, who moves further ahead of the Vettel top of the was table. so Anthony Davidson. Who would you rank as your Vettel, of the day? Vettel was second behavior, and fell down to 12. Getting the most out of their tires without losing pace. That's, that's mad. A very handy skill to have in I love how there's the six people in the stream right now and you guys have come at the end of the race. But don't worry, I will put a time stamp in this race so you can watch it all in full. Well, uh, but look at that. Hamilton takes the racing. top spot. To Valtteri Bottas nicked us for second for place. Uh, he, he was way quicker than me. There was nothing I could do. But again, look at our fastest lap. 47.8, 47.46.4. So again, we weren't that far off. We weren't that far off. Require was closing us down towards the end of the race, but we hang on to, uh, to third place. Then we got Leclerc in fourth, Verstappen fifth. Ricardo 6th, um, Science is 7th, he is our rival at the moment, so we do jump him in ratings and we get a podium finish, so that will definitely uh, put us back in the mix to win the rivalry, uh, as we've had a couple DNS in the previous races. Then we've got Albon 9th, Ocon 8th, and Kvyat closes out the top 10. Um, the Alpha Tauris are, dull, are dark horses, they are very much dark horses. Uh, everyone did the one stop today, which is fair enough. Uh, where did our boy Nick DeVries finish? He finished down in 18th place, so we did fall backwards quite a bit. Uh, Kimi Raikkonen did get up there a little bit. So did Giovinazzi, so did Gasly. Uh, Perez and Norris fell down quite a bit. So I'm wondering if these guys went on to hard tyres. That's probably what happened. But Jesus, hang on, let me look at the race director. Soft to medium, soft to medium, soft to medium, soft to... Yeah, the hard the guys who went the guys who went soft to hards actually didn't do too bad. I think maybe the 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 pace was inconsistent. Maybe that's why they had uh what they had. Mechanical failure was Grosjean's. We had some collisions going on, so I know there was a couple of yellow flags. But I'm gonna show you the highlights, and you can just see for yourselves. The start we had was absolutely nuts. Look at this. Boom. Look at that. I'm already up there. Come around the outside. Vettel's gone. All the Renaults have gone. And again, I just managed to stick it on the outside. Coming past, I think it was Vettel. On the straights here. We might have been... Yeah, it was Vettel, actually. I was hunting him down like a dog, man. Putting him down like a dog. Again, I did go wide there. Coming up to the bus stop on the uh, on the same lap. And again, he... Uh, it was a little bit of contact. That's what that's what caused him the pit stop then. He went into me a little. But then again, nothing happened up until... Uh, we came out to the pit stops. The Vries was in 10th place. Again, the midfield is so tightly packed. But again, this is our kind of sweet spot for overtaking. As again, we showed De Vries Wagwan. 
that we are the faster car. And uh, there we go. From there on in, it was just basically keep the car on the road. Fend off Verstappen, fend off Leclerc. I tried to defend from Bottas, but uh, to no avail. To no avail. But it was okay. And we looked after our gearbox as well. So I know that is a tip for uh, conserving the gearbox. Do you use higher gears? Remember, I am on strict, um, not strict corner cutting, sorry. Um, reduced corner cutting because I'm not that good at this game. <laughs> Put it that way. This should give us a lot of money as well. So uh, we should make a lot of money back. But our podium. We took pole position in France. And then we took... Uh, the we really took a podium in Spa. It, it wasn't. It wasn't, I'll tell you now. Uh, nah, power. It was a power track, so we, we did bits. Everything went your way today. It looked like you had a really good strategy for the race. Yeah, I'll gotta fight my team. I gotta fight my team. We did we did well. We did well. We all underestimated you, didn't we? Uh you underestimated the team. We're in sync, grey how things happen. My team had faith. We you did, but everyone is allowed one mistake. I love that one. But you know what, we're gonna stay now you know what? Oi, pick up my chest. <laughs> Everyone's allowed one mistake. I love that. Uh, what crash? Don't know what crash is on about. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we did a madness. Close the gap a little bit. If we have a good race in uh, Italy, which we should do because it's a power track, uh, we will do some nices. <coughs> but look at that. Look at that. And we get our sponsor bonus as well. Thrifty K. Look at that. got some R&D going on if we do get quite a bit of money I will spend it on the uh, durability thing which is what I was going to do but look at that look at that and we got a sponsorship right on time uh, Let's see. I want to renew these guys, but is there a viable one? See, that's what we're doing now. We're team with top 10 finish. Uh, score 20, constructors points. What I want to do is... Uh, let's see, satellite. 100 laps. Nah. Uh, hold first position for 10 laps, nah. Hold first position for 2 laps, nah. Hold first position for 4 laps, nah. Nope. I mean, even though we did that, you know, we're not gonna be able to, you know, do that all the time. Um, qualifying P4 or better? No. Uh, no. Top for finish, no. Hmm. You know what? This is what I'm going to do. 33 constructors points. 
That would mean De Vries would have to go up there. So that doesn't work. Hmm. I think we should stick with A and F because of uh, you know, it's be realistic here. But then again, if we sort this from goal bonus, it's a pretty big payout. And these are pretty big payouts. Whole first position for 10 laps, you know that's not happening. Again, these are pretty big payout payouts for it, so. I think we I think we renew with these guys. Oh, I didn't clock. I did not clock. We've got another sponsor. Um I didn't clock that. Which makes this even better. Because now okay, so we got I guess or top 12 I'm trying to see 50 laps no DNF in the team be a rival during the race do that so should go with Krita 10 constructors points so we're, we're aiming we're aiming to finish in the points now top 12 because then you got top 10 finished during the race top 12 finished race qualify P10 or better so yeah in fact actually that's actually quite smart. So we get the paint back. Because then we're doing, we're, we're killing two birds with one stone almost. How about that though?
I forgot that was there. I like that. Probably put a bit of blue on that. Starting to look like a car now. Starting to look like a car now. We get on to our activities. We've got two G Force training, driver promotion, podium celebration party. Hey, you know what? Is it back to work or what are we saying? You know what? Let, let's get let's give it. I'll give them. I'll splash a bit of cash and uh. I'll, I'll I'll treat them a little bit. You know we did we did bits so. We're in a position now where we're able to attract a new sponsor to the team. Head over to the corporate tab and select the sponsors screen to choose who we should approach. Yeah, you see, I already had that covered. See, if you would have looked at what I did, you would have seen. That uh, hello, hello, hello. We have three sponsors now, which means we have three times as much a chance of getting money. So, yeah, we spend a little bit of money, but that leaves us in great shape. I know we did do that. Build time. Let's see what else we can do with the money we have. Hmm. I'm going to relax for now. But if we look at our gearbox real quick. Also we'll have that for after. So that should be too that should be pretty good. Hey, we're, we're, we're on course here. We are on course for a banging finish. Seventy-eight, eighty-seven. So we should, we c should and could be able to uh, hang on, to hang on for that. But uh, yeah, man, yo, stay tuned. Don't want to miss it. Mons is next. See you guys next time. Take care. Have a nice night. Bye now.